Parents and guardians of the 76 selected STEM students under the government scholarship from the six schools of excellence patiently waited for the arrival of the Prime Minister. The United States Ambassador to PNG and Yati Shok attended with other delegates but left due to other commitments at around 7 p.m. when the dinner was scheduled at 5 p.m. However, the program started with the national anthem and official opening. Education Secretary Dr. Oke Kombra says this is the second cohort of the STEM scholarship students who have performed exceptionally well by being the top five students. He says the students are selected on merit and the measurement service division, the unit in charge of the tertiary selection, are responsible for the selection. There are 15 of them who are going for the first time to North Dakota University. And this university is a university that really specializes in STEM. We will also be sending call again to the university, uh, State University of Nichols, and the majority of 49 will be going to South Dakota. Prime Minister who hosted the dinner congratulated the students and those involved in seeing the program come to reality. He says the country needs a highly qualified and educated populace and a workforce as the world is becoming revolutionized with innovations in science and technology. Thank you very much, the, uh, Dr. Wayne and your team. The current STEM curriculum we have is compatible with the best in the world. When have you ever heard Australia picking up something that we created in our country? And not just ordinary creation, making a biscuit. Anyone can make a biscuit. Anyone can make a bun. Anyone can sew a clothes. But I'm talking about grade 11 and grade 12 maths, science, engineering, subjects, curriculum that they have embraced. That we have stepped up to the right direction. In fact, Compatible, our best curriculum we have tailored, and they have now asked that those curriculum be also a part of a certain curriculum. And so that just indicates that we are doing something right in the education department. We're doing something right. And I'll be the first to admit there are many, many work that still is outstanding for us to do. But I want to encourage everyone over here tonight. We have not been wasting time sitting on WhatsApps and contesting. We've been doing work in the last four, five, six years. In fact, the education department has been really carrying the load for the last 20 or 30 years since the, the reform in education was lumped into the education department without matching resource allocation. The Prime Minister was also pleased with the pioneer students of the 43 from last year who did extremely well by getting the presidential award that set the pace for the new ones. Meantime, last month, 30 left for India, 50 will be going to China for studies, while 5 will be traveling to Fiji to become pilots. Esther Brelinwani, NBC National News, Port Mosby.